you know, I, I think there is a perversity in taking a snapshot and thinking that that entire side of the world is completely captured in one painting or in sure. one movie or even in a handful of movies like that have been made in a specific decade. You know, the 80s, we saw very heavy handed, like brown men only played terrorists in movies. That's it. And what is the danger of that? You know, we do see the danger of that, of, you know, a terrible killing that happened in London, Ontario of a family. There is a problem with the way things are perpetuated visually. It's all about visual. So for me, it had to be this sort of like, I have to take over that. So I, in some of the works, like I will take Jerome paintings and I will make them a four layer screen print because I do feel like I get ownership of it. I do feel like it's really fun for me to take a, and he's a beautiful painter, but I like making a screen print because now what? I have to now create my visual language. Like I have to make my key of things that I'm looking at. So for me, I mean, that's where I was interested. And I do always find myself going back to Saeed. When I do feel lost, I do find myself going back to things that he talks about. It helps influence what's happening visually. But I know mine is very, it can come across as very nostalgic, for example, because it is, there's a certain timestamp kind of on the work that's happening, you know, because of what I'm looking at, it comes from a time. But um, I think we're lucky in that way that we can sort of create these I think art does that. It creates these sort of imaginary worlds and um, being able to do that visually and move that way. Like you're, you're sort of able to take control 